Hey, this is Mr. Beer Claw here, and you want all the smithing stone crafting material with the Twin Maiden, smithing stone 1 through 9, regular, and somber? Well, I'm going to show you where to find all the bell bearings to get all of those here at the Twin Maidens, so that you don't have to run around finding those when you're trying to craft and upgrade stuff. And once you find those, even better, they will carry over your New Game Plus. So let's get started. The first slip smithing stone miner's bell bearing is in the Rhea Lucari crystal tunnel here. And you will get his reward after we beat the boss. So, the entry tunnel. It's got a big tower outside of it. And the walking towers. And in the rock behind it. Entry to the tunnel. So we need to go through here, work our way, and get to the boss. Once you're to the bottom of the point, get the boss. Beat. There you go. The first smithing stone one. That'll give you the smithing, the regular smithing stones one and two that you can buy from the Twin Maidens. Second smithing stone miner's bear bell, bell bearing is in the sealed tunnel. So the easiest way to get there is to get to the outer wall phantom tree. And from here, right east. Let's get to the rocks here. You can see there's a little rock path down. Here's the entryway to the tunnel. And now there's the chest inside here that will have the second bell bearing. So you do get to the point of grace here. Grab that, and then this door we will open. There's going to be a blocked wall here, so you're going to need to hit that. It's going to be invisible, and then it'll open up your way to the tunnel. And then we can go through there and find that chest. In this first big room, be a handful of enemies. I had to clear them out so they don't be in the way. But you can roll through bench barrels right here. And once you come down through, chest. And there you go. There's the second bell bearing that you need that'll give you the crafting three and four at the Twin Maidens that you can purchase. Third miner's bell, you're gonna wanna go to the Zamora Ruins in the mountaintops of Giants. And from this grace point here, just ride right up to the top of the ruins. Go under here. Do watch out for those enemies though. They do have an ice attack. It is kind of a pain. Chest. And bell bearing three. And that'll give you the smithing stones for five and six. On the top side of the toxic swamp in the Kalid area, the Celia Crystal Tunnel is where we'll find the next one. See, top side of the swamp. Tunnel entrance. And we will find it when we defeat the beast at the end of this, similar to the first spell bearing the other one. We defeat the boss in this one and we'll get the first somber minor spell bearing. Here we are at the boss. There it is, the Sombra's Bell Bearing 1. So that will unlock the Sombra Smithing Stones of the Twin Maidens for their 1 and 2s. The second Sombra's Miner's Bell Bearing is at the Altus Tunnel. It's in this lower level. Same with like the Ur Tree. So ride this lower level down from Lake Windmill Village. Take this path down here 
and across this far side and then ride up the rocks and you'll make your way to the tunnel which you can see I'm staying kind of the top here tunnel entrance right there we're going to work our way through the tunnel and then once we beat the crystalline bosses at the end of it it will give us the second bell bearing entering the boss area once we beat them we will get that second bell bearing And there's our bell bearing and so that will give us the somber smithing stones that we need for boss weapons and such for three and four somber's miners bell bearing it is at the first church of marika it's pretty straightforward it's right in front of it in the giant mountaintops of giants there it is you got it and that one will give you the smithing stones for somber five and six at the twin maiden just be a little careful coming to this one as you are coming in if you come across the middle of this big lake here a ice dragon will appear and you will have to fight it so be careful you can skirt around the edge and you can make it here different ways but this is where that bell bearing is last three bell bearings complete the set can only be grabbed in the crumbling fair of missoula so the first one that you'll come across is at the Tempest Facing Balcony. As soon as you get to this grace point, body right here. Easy peasy. To get the Smithing Stone Bell Bearing for the regular Smithing Stones 7 and 8, once you get to the Dragon Temple area in the Kramon Azula. And down here, there's a couple flights of stairs. It's called Banish Knight, so past more success than I did. There's another flight of stairs. I just can't go in that way. Now we get ourselves a fight. Defeat the two Godskin duo guys here. And there you go. There's the fourth one for that, and that'll give you, like I said, the regular smithing stones 7 and 8 at the Twin Maidens. Last bell bearing that you need after you get to the Dragon Temple rooftop, which is right after a Crucible Knight that you fight. You'll jump down, and you'll follow this. There'll be a dragon shooting lightning at you, and the dragon will be where I'm standing currently. Once you get here, you can either kill it really quick, or it'll fly away after a second. And once you get to that point, Run up this path. There's some sleeping guys that you will see on the sides. Kill them, don't kill them. Up to you. There are a couple guys here that are awake, so they will be in your way. That guy, and then watch out for this guy that comes on the side. Oh, yo. He's dodging. Once you get here, to the building, you can see there's a temple guy inside there. There's also one more thunder guy off to the left, and there's a sword guy off to the right, so be careful. Once you have dispatched them, you have this corpse sitting here nice and calmly. 
and there's your last bell bearing that'll give you the somber smithing stone nine that you can use to craft I mean you can use to buy from the twin maidens for you and now you should have one through nine all the regular smithing stones and the somber smithing stones from the bell bearings and the twin maidens and those will carry over to new game plus so you don't have to worry about finding them all out individually ever again Thank you. This has been Mr. Beerclaw. I hope that was informative for you. If there's something you'd like to see, let me know. Please subscribe. Put what you'd like to see in the comments, and I will try and get it done. Thank you.